6th place. Rian uh, solidifying her position as 5th place. Well played, both of y'all. See, now I get to spend two weeks convincing Ron to just put down the Axel and actually play Ram for real and start getting some dubs. <laughs> Do you think he'd be open to that idea? I mean, he's already got a pocket Ram he's messing with. Because, you know, I mean, if you're going to play a character you like and they're bad, you might as well have, oh, if they're considered bad and they don't have as many tools, it's not, there's nothing wrong with having a secondary in your pocket. You're just like, oh, I kind of like this guy too. You know, there are lots but of cool what characters. About in this the game. loyalty. <laughs> ah, there's no such thing as loyalty. It's all about the win. It's all about the. It's all about the the player versus player. It doesn't matter what character you're playing, right? Like that's how I feel about it. Like Ron Fang, I'm playing against Ron Fang. It doesn't matter if he's playing Ram, Axel, or Nagori Yuki. You know, I'm playing against him as much as I can. And looks true. like at the, at the end of the day, it is about just pressing buttons with your friends, having exactly. A good time. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, that matchup knowledge uh, is super useful, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, like the human that you're that you're interacting with, you're having a conversation there, and and so far we've had very one-sided conversations in a couple of these matches. Let's see if this gets to <laughs> ends up being about the same with Nagoriyuki or Milia just talking over the other. <laughs> oh man, if 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 Nagoriyuki had opened up with a round start. Uh, with the round start DP, that might have been just a wall breaker. Uh, I will say, I, I normally see Milia having trouble with this matchup, so hopefully Captain Glasses can bring can bring it out here. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's getting mixed right now, but Nagori Yuki has so much health. You have to mix so many times. Oh, just another four or five mixes. Oh, gets the wall break from way far away. Did not expect uh, Hair Car to do that. The burst bait. Oh my god. Burst baited. Basted. Captain Glass is just out here to prove me wrong. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, yeah, 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 let me just let me just put all these words back in your mouth real quick. The wrist gauge is cranking up. Bobby Fresh schmoving. Grooving. Blood is cranking. Oh he misses the Yeah, this is gonna be really bad for Nago. He's gonna blood burst. Oh, the, and, and he just... Oh, that was an interesting idea. I like that. I was just like, you know, I'm not worried about the the mask. I'm just going to go ahead and get in your grill. Fortunately, Milia has the pickup and the wall break. Three. Captain Glass is out here just smoking on people right now. Yeah, definitely doing everything in his power to just keep up the pressure. Because mm. anytime Nago gets in a hit, it does a lot of damage. But then yeah. as, as soon as the pressure is back on, it's on. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you get hit like a couple times as Milia. You don't get a lot of chances to just lose neutral. Here we go with the pressure. Yeah, that, that, was, that was only like two hits right there. Mm -hmm. Six H OTG is so much damage for no reason. Ooh, the burst bait. Oh, beautiful mix from Captain Glasses here. He's out firing on all cylinders. Oh, the cross up. Ooh, just putting on a clinic here. Just, I want this. I want to show you how to mix good. Welcome to Guilty Gear. Yo, I thought Amelia uh, was supposed to be bad, y'all. Somebody, somebody, somebody explain this one for me. Ooh, Beyblade into the corner. Bobby Fresh. <laughs> I love how he does the dash back, dash forward. It's like he's building a dandy step since we don't have Slayer. Great mix there. Captain Glass is pushing back into the corner. Glass still has burst as well. Keep that in mind. Like, if Nago tries to do any. Nonsense. Ooh, Ooh, yellow burst. Jab, oh, we there's the we we're vampire live right now. Oh, misses this. You have to you have to Fukio after that to get the six OTG six eight OTG. Yeah, I got the cross up, but then lost it. Yeah, it looks like okay. Captain glasses like I'm baits another burst. Yeah. Oh my god, this man is just too patient. I don't know if a single one of those hasn't just been baited out. I think he's just always had the bait ready on deck. As soon as he sees it there, he starts setting up. And ooh, I thought I thought he was dead there from the punches. Uh oh. Oh. That was a mistimed burst there. That was very unfortunate. I think he assumed that Bobby Fresh was going to go in for the full combo immediately yeah. instead of the delay. Might have just been expecting exactly that. Just yeah, yeah, rush yeah. in. Fukio DP, something like that, and try to burst out. 
Bursting for things that he can't react to. That's pretty smart. And we're back in the corner with the mix. Captain Glasses. Breaking necks. Bobby Fresh able to get the pickup. Juggles straight out of the corner. Able to get some of his blood removed as well. Almost back to the other side. But just rushing forward. Oh man, Milia's hair collar keeps just clipping them ankles. Bruh. Oh, the bur- yep. I'm like- how many, how many burst baits have there been? There's been like six. This man's there, insane. There were two within the last 10 seconds already. I'm mean, like, what are you playing? Plus R over here? This is, a, this looks like some like plus R Amelia kind of play right now. Like just, just super schmicks, steal your burst, hide your kids, all that nonsense. Back to the nuge. Bobby Fresh getting clipped in the air though. Both players have burst. Bobby Fresh could get himself out of the corner if he needs to, but he's able to get the 5 5 uh, 6P. Mix it up. That's 6H. Forces the burst. Yeah, the 6H had to force the burst. With the clip! With the far slash. Nago Blood creeping up. Captain Glasses has got butter on deck. And baits the burst again! What is this man doing? Super? There we go. Getting the hard knockdown. I can't believe it. Do you see, this is a this is a bait bursting clinic right now. I was just like, uh, let me let me get that. Let me steal your soul. Ooh, the mix. You want to that mix. The burst? Just do it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, bro, I got hit. Like, there was no way I was gonna see that mix up. Like, though they were so low to the ground, but their feet were just barely off the ground. It's still air. It still wasn't overhead. Yeah, we Mario Kart out here, Amelia. Top speed. Taking a little time to reassess. Looking for a whiff punish of some sort. Just does nothing. Just just runs up chicken block just to see what happens. That's really smart. I was trying to do that too today. But Nago able to get the stray hit. You know what that means when Nago's playing. That means you go corner to corner. But the blood. He went a little too ham. Oh, Catches oh, with the super. Ooh wee. She is out of the park. Oh, <laughs> these home runs, baby. It's all about the Mets, baby. <laughs> uh, you thought I was I was done with that joke. I'm bringing it back. Fighting for oh yep, yeah, five P. Mm-hmm. Bursted. Now yeah, that's just, this still look kinda of rough for me right now. Nako's got some got some blood to spare. Can do a few more movements. Okay, the super this is probably blocked. No! He's not looking at the wake up super option. Very smart by Bobby Fresh. He's still in it to win it. Like, this is my championship. That was absolutely the right thing to do. And Bobby Fresh still has burst with 6 age frame trap. That was hot. That was that was pure skill. Very well played by Bobby there. Yeah, he, he was not trying to just get the real. Exactly. Big throw, setting up the mix. Both players have burst right now. Every, okay, just got the burst out of Captain Glasses. He's not He's not about to have Nago delete his life bar. Close slash into your standard hair car combo. You've seen it a million times on the Lord Night stream. And another burst another, bait! Another burst bait. Has Nago, has Bobby gotten a whole burst? <laughs> I, I like, don't think he has. I don't think he has. Someone in the chat, please, like, like. If we miss one, let us know. Because... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been. He's like, I'm pretty sure Captain Glass is like seven for seven or something ridiculous like that. Okay, great air movement to get out of the to get out of the corner there. I agree with you, Nels. At that point, I don't think Bobby Fresh should have bursted. You probably should have kept the burst for the next round, but that's all right. We're back in the mix with Captain Glasses. Captain Glasses, I guarantee you, he's not looking at the screen. As soon as he gets the knockdown, he just starts pressing them buttons. He's like, I know how to mix. I don't need eyes to see. Oh, the, that was... Uh, okay, is this, okay, he wasn't able to secure the kill, but the bad boom was able to get the quick overhead. Man. Yeah, Bobby just keeps getting hit with the mix-ups, just keeps mm -hmm. getting burst baited out. Just, the burst baits what, have been insane! Just, yeah, just what, what do you do? <laughs> I have no clue what you do about it, you know, like... Like, not a... I don't think, he, I don't think Bobby got a single burst.
That was a beastly Melia. Captain Glass is well played. And I want to give a big shout out to Bobby Fresh too, man. You you were you were schmoobing out there. I know that was it was well played on both their parts. That was that was a good match. Uh some respectful bows from the two competitors. We love to see that that uh that that gamesmanship, uh that um sportsmanship. Woo wee. What a game. That was um I mean, you know, you wanna you want to say Millie is bad, sure, but I mean, definitely but, was but is she though? <laughs> I don't think she is. I don't think she is. <clears throat> All right, so we need to see. We got fish sock subhuman up next. Yes, fish sock and subhuman. Yeah. Fish sock subhuman. Winner finals. Get on in here, you two. Oh, oh, use me. Oh, this is what hour eight, hour nine of the of the boomer event this weekend. We're just knocking them out of the park. We're right? that's actually we're doing a pretty good time too. Uh, this one's been going on for about two hours now. Yeah, we also had the Street Fighter one earlier today. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I was I was at work for that one. <laughs> yeah, no, I was I was right here, <laughs> talking it up. All right, we're getting our players in position. I think they're about ready to rock. Oh, are we going to see the Bridget right away? Yeah, I think so. I think that's going to be their pick. Just to... So apparently there's a, a Captain Glasses in the crew. They got a uh, they got a training server. They got some they got the secret training room out there somewhere. Mankind knew that they could shock and subhuman and Captain Glasses so apparently all train together. Themselves. Cool to see. Oh, well, what, whatever they're doing, it's working. What is this mod? Oh, okay. It's just the, it's just a weird. Okay. For a second, I thought the guy with the with the hat was was Zato, and I was like, "What happened to Zato?" <laughs> just oh, there's a, 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 a disciple. Yeah, it's just a disciple of the dandy right there. One of my fellow dandyites. Get straight into it. Bridget definitely has the tools to keep to keep Eddie from getting out of control, but at the same time, you gotta remember all those yo-yos are hitboxes. They are not safe. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, Zato just devours hitboxes. Anything that he can touch, he will touch. Ooh, big counter hit there. Fishstock was uh, able to escape from Subhuman's pressure, though. Grab pressure in the corner. Taking full advantage of Zato's you know, lack of, of a non-universal defensive option, but punch, punch, punch. RC forces the burst. Ooh, big counter hit. Sets up for the mix. The Bridget mix. Misses the baby. 2H counter hit. Wow. That was, that was definitely well done. Yeah, beautiful work. Man. See Bridget, man, she's got she got mix. She's got good neutral tools. She can just kind of fight through a pose, which is pretty sweet. And she has the tools to kind of keep Eddie in check pretty consistently. Yeah, I was gonna say she she did just seem to kind of ignore Eddie there for a second and just mm -hmm. straight on Zato. Just hit hit two D, cover all the space around you, so that even if you're sandwiched, it doesn't matter. I think that's why they went ahead and went for the for the Bridget pick. That was, a, that was a 2 -H? massive combo there, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, there it is. Big Booty 6-H closing out the game. And that's Axel High for you right there. <laughs> we saw them Axel Lows. Now we're in the Axel Highs. Rian taking that set. Subhuman. Subhuman, sorry. 
What was I saying? Anyway. This stock still has a uh, has burst available. Gets Bridget in the corner. Bridget does not have guts. Like this is something, like both of these characters do not have guts at all. So it's like they can. Uh, Bizzotto has way more damage. Yeah, as you can see, that that health bar just disintegrated. Mhm. Mm yeah, Bridget does not have a lot of HP. Doesn't have a lot of guts. Six P, the God, most important button in the Bridget matchup. Ooh, fish sock, uh, trying to back dash out of the pressure, gets thrown for his trouble, and now he's stuck in the corner. For the Bridget high low mix ups. Has to burst there. Mm hmm. Had to. Not sure what was going on there. I thought, uh, some people would go for the 2D, uh, 2H to try and catch Zotto flying, but it did not happen. Ooh, big counter hit. Yeah. RC, let's get the combos going. Straight to the corner. Boom, boom. Stayed out for just long enough for the ADH to come back up, but it did not matter in that instance. Exactly. Oh, big air throw. Great work from Subhuman. But 6P the God. Great throw from Subhuman. Going to try and get as much damage out of this. Hopefully get a wall break if they can. They weren't quite able to catch with that, 2K, with that 5K. Ooh! But able to get the counter hit and get that last little bit of damage. Big counter hit there. Mm-hmm. Already a fourth of a, or a fifth of Zotto's life gone. And he's stuck in the corner against Bridget. Bridget has the mix and the setups. Goes for 2S to get around the, the 6P problem, like I was talking about before. Like, anytime there's just 6Ping all your stuff is Bridget, you start breaking out the 2S. And they just, like, they, sometimes they're just not ready for it. That is a massive overhead yo-yo that she's got, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Boom, boom. And she can crank her, like, their block strings really crank up the risk. Like, yeah, she's low damage, unless you're blocking. And if you start blocking, things get real bad real fast. Ooh, Y burst to get out from Fist Sock. Time he's A to cover his uh, recovery down. Yeah, he's, definitely, he's definitely needs to pick up the pressure here, but Bridget is just not allowing that. Yeah, Bridget's playing, playing the Axel game right now, just big buttons. Oh, wow. Um, Skates up. Look at that. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely got hit there. Oh, yeah. Man, if you haven't played Bridget yet, she is hilarious and fun. I think everyone should give him a try. Mankind knew that they can... Subhuman really putting in the work out here. Fish Sock definitely was showing us a very uh, compelling argument for his, his uh, inclusion as the champion earlier but tonight, but suddenly Subhuman, I think, might have the pit. Ooh, how do you like that high low mix up? Or really just double overhead, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure. It looks like Subhuman's mostly been using the, the non projectile. Uh, the non-projectile version of the of the of the yo-yo, but I haven't seen a hit on the way back either. But well, that's oh the drop, why burst? But the DP, Bridget has an invincible DP. <laughs> Don't forget, it's highly punishable. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I, I'm not sure what fish has to do to. Try to get back in here. I mean, Pose is definitely doing a lot of work to, to stuff the Bridget approaches, but, but Subhuman's schmoving really hard. Great aerial approaches, keeping the pressure really tight. And keeping Eddie. Oh, wow, the baby. That was wonderful. I love I loved that Bridget play. Subhuman picking up emphatically. Like, that, like, like I said, Bridget got low health. Low damage, high risk, good mix-ups, good neutral tools, and a DP. You know, like, pretty good package overall. Great work from Subhuman. This is Jane Fishstock wasn't able to get a game, but thank you very much for playing, dude. You, you would definitely fight your heart out out there. Excuse me. Antagonist, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling good. This is really good. Uh, Bridget definitely seems to have a lot of combo potential, though, mm -hmm. as well. And just once she starts going, it seems like it, 
Uh, he was having a hard time just dealing with any of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like the, the high low corner uh, pressure from Bridget can kind of feel like Milia sometimes where you're just like, oh, I'm getting a thousand cuts. Oh my God. You know, you just have trouble like dealing with any of the block pressure. And it's just constant high, low, high, high, low, low, high, low guessing, which is just frightening. Your risk okay. is getting cranked up the whole time, too. So, you know, like, if you get hit, it is going to hurt, you know? Yeah, that's definitely the comparison there, too, with uh, Milia. Because as soon as as soon as they start getting in the combos, just those combos keep going. Mm -hmm. Straight over to the other side of the screen. Now we're going to have Zato versus Milia here. Yeah. I don't know who is... Who who's uh, favored in this matchup from a character perspective? But Captain Glasses was putting on a hell of a show against uh, Bobby Fresh earlier. Ooh, Frog gets stuffed by the. I can't remember what that move's called, but whiffs the grab, forces out the burst from Captain Glasses. Had to burst there, yeah. And opposes ignorant, bro. <laughs> Straight ignorant. And Captain Glass is doing a really good job of controlling Eddie here, though. Oh, absolutely. Anytime Eddie tries to get up, he's able to, to find a way to, to sneak around. The pose is doing a lot of work to keep Amelia from being able to do the full schmix that they want to do. Ooh, that's going to wall break. It could have done super. It could have done sword super there for the hard knockdown. But I guess they wanted to go for Amorphous instead. Not the worst idea. Hey, look, they were definitely expecting the Amorphous there, though. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there was no break on the wall, a super for the wall break, so it's kind of that's kind of the other Zato thing, right? Yeah. Amorphous and neutral. Big YRC to get the pressure off. Zato's caught in the mix with no guts. Ooh, this is a lot of damage. But he was able to block the hair curl on wake up and then punish. It's always something so funny about seeing like all of these ridiculous moves and then just a jab. Yep, <laughs> just a jab sometimes is all you need. All right, Millia's getting the getting the mix going here. Still has burst as well. Yep, the burst baited by Zato, pulling out the sword or no, the Amorphous rather. We live in that shark life. Are we clapping? Well, definitely the, the main difference here between the Milia and the Bridget, even though mm -hmm. they have they, they want to do similar things, but Milia has to get closer. Mm -hmm. And that was like the big the big thing that was allowing uh, a subhuman to kind of circumvent a lot of that auto pressure. Is just, I could just stay back here. I can just chill, you know, outside of clap range, outside of drill range, yeah, outside of a pose. We're we're at the perfect range to fight each other, but I can get more hits in. Exactly. And also, like, the 5D, like, you know his auto is trying to win when they hit 5D every time. Fish stock taking it over Captain Glasses of a heated battle here. Uh, a big thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Captain Glasses still has com uh, command here with the burst and meter. So if he needs to, he can fully control the situation right now. Just setting up the mix. Oh, fast overhead. RC. Froggy gets blocked, so does the sword, but Eddie's still clapping. Big air throw from Fish Sock into the corner. We're starting the pressure up. Oh, but the reversal from Captain Glasses. That's going to kill? Yeah, that, that kills. Whoo! Dotto got no guts. <laughs> no guts. Pierce, get, uh, Frog gets stuffed. 6P, 6P. 6P the god. Air throw. Air, yeah, yeah. Setting up the clap drills is a great way to, to kind of ensure that you know, she has to jump over that, right? So you can get the air throw there. Two K two D, starting the sandwich up. Welcome to Subway, but unfortunately, uh, Captain Glasses is gluten intolerant and gets out of the sandwich. Yeah, because with, with the drills, if, if you if you spend too much time blocking them, then you're just giving Zato too much pressure. Yeah, and 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 too much bar. Like they they want that bar. Yeah. Oh, did you see the five D? Oh. Right at the end of the Eddie pressure, just does a neutral jump, is able to break out. Both players have burst, both very low on health. There's one burst out of the way. Eddie trying to... Oh, yeah. 
Every time that melee has gone high right there, it's been either like jump D or it's been uh, air grip. Like they're absolutely, uh, Fishstock is definitely controlling the air a lot better yeah, than... And mm -hmm. Milia wants to be in the air, so mm -hmm. it, it makes it really difficult. Yeah, Oppose is stopping the air movement, Frog is really causing issues. Eddie, the Eddie manipulation by Fishstock is excellent right here, like really just maximizing their meter usage. But gets caught in the corner. The mix really starts. The oppose, a lot of really good spacings for the drunkards. Just Ooh, just wow. I can't believe he blocked the, the RC uh, bad move. That was very impressive. Ooh, but one more that guess. Broke. That's it. Yeah. Wow. That was a really close game. It looked like it was it was going to be Zato all the way. Yeah, but all, all it took was Milia getting a little bit of that pressure back and just in the corner, in the corner, in the corner. Mm-hmm. We're 1-1 one, one right now. Both these players just slugging it out. Risk getting cranked up on Milia though. A quick JD, just to, the side swap from Fish Sock. Good spatial awareness there. Yes, keeping up the pressure, cranking up the risk. Clapping, JD. Hits with the low. Froggy. Captain still has burst. I don't know if he's going to want to save it or if he might need to use it if he gets caught up again. Yeah, they were playing really good defensively, but all it takes is just one hit to get just, them out Just of one it. low at the wrong time and you get caught in the blender. Alright, RC. Oh, the high-low mix-up, but doesn't confirm. There we go. Another confirm. Going high. Double low. Confirming. Fish Sock is stuck in place right now. He jabs out. Jabs out, but Milia wants to get back in. Gets the low. Mm -hmm, that should be it. Into the wall. Yeah. Wow. Just uh, cut out the oppose. Able to get a punish, but gets bursted for his trouble. Yep. Early burst. Though. Mm -hmm. You got to. I mean, you can't really get caught in the mix, as Milia. You got no. You got no health. Both these play. Both both of these players are basically made of paper right now. Oh, the mix is too strong. A little sideways shuffle to get the super to come out. The hard knockdown to set up the Oki. Positive bonus for Milia is... Oh, I thought it was about to be a super. It actually burst out fast enough. Oh, dodges the sword and manages to get Eddie out. Yep, yeah, and the 6P to interrupt the run-up. They clap him, they clap him. Clapping and snapping. They're, they're Fullsock is trying. Is, is Fullsock just trying to lag the game by just shoving as many inputs as he can over the wire? <laughs> He's just like mashing all the commands. Yeah, uh, so fish, it might have worked there. <laughs> it might have worked there. Fishsock unfortunately gets clipped and gets mixed. We are at two one right now. Currently, uh, Captain Glass is taking that set. He's starting to adapt to the to the to the Zato play. Yeah, definitely adapting well to it. Just finding finding the ends, keeping the ends. Mm -hmm. And that, that's all, all you need to do, and that takes it out in early burst there. So. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Fish Sock is definitely going to want an early burst because Millie hasn't hit you so many times, you're highly likely to get your burst back again if you do an early burst. So, generally, against characters you get hit a lot, a lot of like small cuts kind of characters like Millia or, uh, or even Bridget sometimes, like, yeah, use the burst, go ahead and get free. Because, I mean, like, Zato's already about, was more than halfway filled with burst moving right now. But just because Milia does no damage. Yeah, but Milia still has to work for every last bit of damage she gets. As you can see right here, like Captain Glasses is pressing every single button on his on his uh, controller right now to get this damage. Yeah, was that even four mix-ups? I, I I was gonna say three. It might have been four though. Yeah. yeah. But just life is all out hard just out here. For half the health bar. Right. Yeah. That's 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 tough out here. Kid Rascal, welcome to the to the squad. Thank you for joining us. Zan Moff, also welcome. Hammond Beat, thank you for coming by. Um, we should uh, we have the FGC Boomer Discord link there available if you guys want to join up. I don't, got the sandwich going, but Captain Glasses is able to survive. The risk is cranked up on Captain though. They can't afford to get hit. Ooh, not a big combo though. Drop. It. And Fish Dog really just cranking up that risk right now. Yeah, but Mil Milia found the gap. Somewhere yeah. in there, just going for it. Fish Dog needs to, uh, to watch some toes, man. I think that's his biggest problem. He keeps getting clipped in the toes. Ooh, the 5D. 
Wasn't able to combo off of it with uh, with Eddie though. And this match got very close very quickly. Yep. Throw tech! Eddie got taken out. I, I think that might be it. Ah, yep, that's gonna break the glass and that's it. I know just the the constant little kicks at the feet. Mm -hmm. People say you don't people say you don't ever look up, but you need to start looking down. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta look down, bro. Uh, like, you, your shins will get kicked to death against a mix-up character. Straight up. They're trying to knock you down and set up the mix every time. You gotta watch them toes. Yeah, they're gonna make sure you never walk again. That's right. Uh, clip your toenails off. It's brutal. Alright, so let's see what we got next. That was a wonderful match. GG to everybody. Fish Sock versus uh, Captain Glasses. Okay, so uh, who's next? Fish Sock. Uh, so losers finals. Losers finals. Losers finals. Who's, who's in this one? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Did right, not realize now, the bracket. The bracket right, was the not bracket. scrolling for me. <laughs> okay, now I got the bracket update. It looks like it's going to be Subhuman Captain Glasses. Uh, if that's correct. Yes. Super uh, Cap, uh, Subhuman and Captain Glasses for Grand Finals. Guilty Gear Drive. Ooh wait! Uh, you think it's gonna be Bridget, or you think it's gonna be Kai coming out of Subhuman? I believe Subhuman was playing Kai earlier, right? Uh, yeah. They, yeah. They were playing Kai earlier, so maybe. But hmm. glasses. We've only seen Amelia from glasses so far. I think he's just gonna stick with that. As we wait for our uh, combatants to get in the ring. I I guess it's really gonna depend on what kind of game he wants to play. Mm -hmm. And Captain Glasses has to do a reset uh, against uh, Subhuman. So he has the benefit of being in winners. So he's just got to do like a quick three and he's done. Yep, and this is going to be a surprise for us. I think it's going to be a great match. The Captain had said he's played Leo on uh, some off-stream matches, but definitely, quote-unquote, not my best. So I think he's just going to stick with the main. Okay, and Subhuman is yep. going for the Bridget. We are here. going for the Bridget, yep. I think that's probably the right play. 6P from Bridget's really good. Uh, and and the the Man, DP really against uh, Milia's yeah. chicanery can so definitely be helpful. Yeah. We'll see how Same kind out. of game, but with a little bit added range. Right, exactly. So we're jockeying position here. Subhuman just rolling up on the roller skates. Both these both these characters have a lot of speed. They're able to kind of just like sh uh, shimmy around each other a lot. Big burst there from Superhuman, Subhuman. Yeah, no, we're, we're going to be seeing just a lot of movement. Just all oh, yeah. Back and forth across the screen. Big back dash, yellow RC to get back control of neutral, but it looks like he's about to get mixed up in the corner. Yep. yep. Big moves from Captain Glasses. He's trying to end this thing quick, make it emphatic. Big uh, close S starter. Not a bad spot to be. Ooh. He wants that reset. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And glasses is going to work extra hard. So far, it looks like Risk is getting cranked up, as you can see there. Forces the burst. If you didn't burst there, that, that, that combo was going to hurt a lot. For sure, but he's still in the corner. Still you see, him. getting mixed up. But look at this wrist gauge. Look at the wrist gauge right now. Boom. Like, just that, that might have killed if there was some meter available. Run up for the the baby. I'm really expecting the baby to show up. Just regular throw. Nice. Still getting hit with the bear. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Two H got beat out there. Like I said, that yo yo is not disjoint. Yo yo is not disjoint, except for six P. Let's put the charge dust. Maximize damage without using meter. Subhuman with the burst. They need it. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead and pop it. There it is. Great spatial awareness from Captain Glasses, knowing exactly where they can run in uh, versus the yo yo pressure. Hits with the low to finish it out. And a perfect, I didn't even realize. Seven letters. Who wait? No, it, it just took a couple of lows there once again. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Captain Glasses is, is not going down without a fight. He wants this reset badly. Ooh, good backdash from the throw. 
forces to burst out because that would have been supreme mix situation. Oh, the miss grab. Oh yeah, that booty, that booty is too strong. Now you see the rolling movement there is trying to set up for the high level mix. I think they were gonna drop out prematurely, but Captain Glasses mashed out. Probably the right thing to do there. Big square jump doesn't hit it on the way down. Still able to get the, the throw and start the mix up. Just mix up. Oh, the wide burst on the bad moon. That was a really, really clutch decision because that was gonna hurt a lot. And Milia is low on life, high on risk right now. They got one more mix. Yep, that's it. The yo-yo coming back is what killed her. Did you notice that? Yeah, the, the yo-yo coming back was that's unexpected, such, I think. Yeah, but I just love how like you can set the yo-yo to hit on the way out or on the way back. Like, you, you're like, oh, you need an offensive tool or do you need a setup tool? Yeah, same move. Big throw in the corner here for Captain Glasses. He's here. He's mixing hard, breaking the glass. Okay, both players have burst right now. There's I don't think. Burst out. Yeah, Bridget cannot take uh, any more hits, really. The baby. Yeah, hit the and, baby though, so, yeah. and the two close S. That's brutal. So that's gonna make it two one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Subhuman needs. Oh, no, it's gonna be one one. Oh, one one. It's one one right. Okay, yeah, no, hey, you miscounted. <laughs> one one currently. Big schmixin' from Subhuman. He's showing off uh, some cool yo-yo tricks here. Milia having trouble getting some space. Basically, there's no breathing room and no burst currently. Why burst? Reset to neutral. Misses with the baby. Big counter hit, and now Milia starts the mix. Force out the burst, of course. Didn't get hit by the first cross-up, but definitely got hit by the second one. Mm, the cross-up low. Back in the corner, we have meter. I was about to say, Amelia should be spinning this meter right now. And, and that is most that is most of what Glasses is getting in with, is all of these lows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, everyone's forgetting to watch their toes, man. Like, she, she'll stomp your Jordans. <laughs> you know? This is just a fact. Amelia is all about, like, crushing on them toes, man. Stepping on people's feet. I know, she is getting those new shoes dirty. Yeah. Yeah, no new shoes. You, I don't give a damn if they case with. So I'm about to stomp on them. A subhuman right now, schmixing hard. I think Captain is just gonna go ahead and say, "Yeah, you can. I'll keep the burst for next round." And just, it just, yeah. But I mean, the mix has started. Bridget has low health. In the corner. Wall break, and they both have meter. <laughs> wow. That is absolutely not something I would have expected to do. It does have a really fast active, uh, well, activation, so, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Big counter hit. Trying to push Amelia back to the corner and set up some stage control with the yo-yos. High-low mix-ups. Yeah, uh, big command grab. Mini Potemkin. Wall break? That was a very clean sequence right there. So on the just, just doing a really good job of keeping, keeping these combos going. Yeah, keeping everything very very clean and concise. He's not trying to overextend too much. Oh, there's rolling movement. Super fast high that can be interrupted. That's going to be 2-1. Mankind. Lots of maneuvering here in the neutral. Cat and Glasses is on his, like, tournament life, basically. These last two. Both, both players have burst. The baby in the corner. The baby. Oh, went for another one? Or just a regular one? Okay. Yep. Captain Glass. Definitely, like, on the back foot here. The baby. Oh, no. Is that on purpose? I, that, I think it was. I, I'm not sure what was happening there. But still gets the kill. Oh my god. I think, like, they meant to do it after the damage happened, but you know how it is sometimes. I mean, either way. It was, it was stylish. Definitely. Roger covering the, the aerial approaches with the with the down K. I'm oh, sorry, the Q14K. Great aerial move. Oh my. 
Now we're ahead. Okay, forces the burst out. I'm about to say that was going to be corner carry and a lot of damage. Yeah, no, we can definitely feel the range here. It's just, mm. it's just not a good time. Yeah, like Bridget has definitely been controlling the nooch, but Glass is putting every single thing he can into the sequence. Gets thrown in the corner for his efforts. OTG close slash into two S or two H. Either way, that's that's life right there. And that's subhuman, I believe. Uh, am I mistaken? No, that's. Uh, are we going to five or best of first of five or best of five? Oh no, we're done. That's it. Subhuman. Big shout out to Subhuman and the 8C crew for coming out. This is your champion pulling it out with Bridget. Uh, of all characters, we kind of expected to see more heavy hitters, and Bridget comes out of nowhere. I know. De definitely glad to see the Bridget in there, showing off some of what she can do. Some cool yo-yo tricks. Wow, what an amazing tournament. An amazing turnout, too. The, uh, shout outs to the Street Fighter people for their huge turnout. Uh, shout outs to, to the GG Strive people for holding it down, even though a bunch of our peeps are out of town this week. Captain Glasses, you played really well, man. It, it's hard to get in against Bridget. She's got some buttons, you know? And she got the DP, and she got the baby. So if you're stuck in the corner, like, she's got not just high low mix, but she's also got the throw setup game. So that's good. Yeah. Definitely knew what you wanted to do there to try to get in and just was not having it. But you yeah. put up a great fight. Put up a great, and everyone tonight played really well. Thank you very much for, for being such great uh, sportsmen uh, and, and, and showmen, show, uh, showing out for everybody. Uh, KG, is there anything you'd like to plug at the end of this extravagant and wonderful tournament? No, not really. We're just going to call it here so everybody can enjoy their Saturday night and get ready for Sunday because we got DNF Duel. King of Fighters, and Tekken with the nightcap. So I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Until then, I've been Fisheru. I've been Antagonist. Y'all have a great night. And just one more time, let's go ahead and plug in here. Ah, right, go ahead and get the plug. Yeah, no, if anyone with any type of, if you have the Bezo Bucks out there, if you have any pocket change, any kind of spare anything, go ahead and give that over to King Giovanni over here. He... He set up a great tournament for everyone, and it's still going on tomorrow, as he said. So. Uh, also, we got the link for the for the Discord in the chat there. If anybody wants to join up, uh, we we we're a very welcoming group. Play all kinds of games, and tomorrow, like King Geo said, we will have. Uh, it's going to be DNF Duel uh, at one o'clock. King of Fighters at five, and Tekken at eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All three of those are at Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you set your clocks. Don't miss out, and you guys have a great night.